Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny and welcome to another antique store haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you today came from the Hancock Antique Mall in Hancock, Maryland. So I spent just about $200 on everything you're going to be seeing in this video today. I do apologize in advance if this was not up yesterday. I did the sale with Tammy, Dave, Dee, and Scott Thursday night. And I just didn't have the motivation to do the video afterwards because I was tired. And, you know, the holiday season, just there's a lot to do. So, anywho, um, items that you're going to be seeing from the haul, um, drops by midnight hopefully, should be in the sale um, Saturday evening. Some of it will be, not all of it. Um, and anywho, let's go ahead and jump in. So, a booth was having a 75% off sale, and I, I know that a lot of people have these already, but I just, I couldn't leave them for how much they were. So, they were 75% off and already low price. So I had to have them. They're the Homco Fairy Lamps. I probably won't offer these up. I'll probably just do a flat price on them. So like I said, I just couldn't leave them for how inexpensive they were. I mean, they were inexpensive already, but they went even cheaper. So I just, you can't leave certain things. And that was the case with this. Same thing with these Anchor Hawking Maple Leaf dishes. I got four of them. And when the 75% off sale ran, it basically was the price of what one of them cost originally. So I got all four of the dishes for what one cost originally. So that was something, again, I just couldn't leave. And then over here, we have four Hazel Atlas Modern Tone Sherbet Bowls. As you can see, they're kind of dirty, but those will be cleaned. More than likely, I'll be saving those for a sale that I do with um, Scott of the Old Curiosity Shop because uh, the deco stuff and the art and the depression glass usually does better when I sell it with him on his channel. So that might be up for grabs later on. So not only do I look for things to sell and to keep for my own collections, but I also like to look for usable items for the household. So I spotted these Kingsford grill lighters, and they were originally sold at Kmart for $6.99 each. So essentially $28 for the four of those if I bought them new at Kmart. And I basically spent $10 on the four of those. Uh, these are good. They still have fluid in them, so we will be holding on to those because we can always use them. And again, at $2.50 a piece, you just really can't say no to that. I also picked up a towel, a nice orange towel. This is newer. Um, it was made by a company called Splash. I tried to look them up to see how much their stuff goes for. Uh, that was only a dollar. And all you gotta do is throw that in the wash and it is as good as new. So it's always a good idea to look for things that you can use um, or maybe a gift for someone else. So definitely keep your eyes peeled when you go to places like that that sell everything. All right, so some more fun stuff. These I actually bought for my mom. It's Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. Uh, those were a dollar a piece. I think they retail for about four or five a bottle, so a dollar each was a pretty good deal, and uh, she does use this stuff, so always gotta keep an eye out for things like that because sometimes stuff in retail stores is not exactly cheap. So I spotted these. These are OXO brand um, adjustable measuring cup sets. Uh, they're not in the packaging, like brand new in their packaging, but they are brand new with the instructions. So those will be up for grabs on eBay, and I believe I can get about 30 for those. Some beauty products. Um, Mary Kay, sometimes some of the discontinued stuff does really well. Uh, looked this up in the store. This is the Deep Cleanser Formula 3, and I think I can get about 20 to $25 for that. And this is a brand I've never seen before. This is Frutia. Uh, that was 75% off, and that's worth about, I think the last one I saw on eBay sold for about $32.50. 
Alrighty, some more modern items, and then we'll jump into some of the really cool vintage. Uh, this is just a candle holder. It's got a lighthouse on it. You guys know me and my coastal. So I thought that was cool. That actually didn't have a price on it. So I brought it up to the register, told them what booth I got it out of, and they called the dealer, and um, they quoted me three. So I went ahead and took that. Uh, it does hold a standard um, Yankee Candle. Uh, this is not one that came with it. This is one that I've had a while. If you guys have Ollie's Bargain Outlet near you, check there for this Wine Country Candle, because this, if you love the smell of a grape lollipop, that's your candle for you right there. And they retail, I think, about $7.99. So if you are looking for it, check in that candle aisle for the Wine Country. It is amazing. Paul Mitchell products. You all know that that stuff can be quite expensive, depending on where you buy it, be it the salon, um, or even at a place like Martin's Grocery, or even Giant's. But you get the idea. Uh, that was only $2. Uh, it's a full bottle of the Freeze and Shine Super Spray. And that, I think I can probably get about $30 for. This is a um, box of ornament hooks. Not old. These are from Walmart, probably within the last couple of years. Uh, they originally retailed for about a dollar, and then this dealer had them for 50 cents. I had been looking for some because if you all saw my Ho 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 tree collaboration, I decorated my aluminum Christmas tree. And I needed some hooks and didn't know where they were, so now I can keep these in the bin so that way I can uh, hang up all my ornaments in the future. I also have a silver tree listed in my eBay store right now. So if you happen to be interested in it, I am taking reasonable offers. I am I have it listed for about 300 And like I said, a reasonable offer will be taken. Back to the goods. This is a Pampered Chef pie server. Um, Pampered Chef, I think, is one of those MLM companies. So, like, you sell it yourself. You don't um, run through, like, um, you know, like, um, a corporation like Walmart or something. So, it's one of those things. It's like self-employment is, I guess, the word I'm trying to say. So, it's brand new in the box, or in the packaging, I should say. And that, too, is also worth about $30. So, that should be up for grabs in my store hopefully by tomorrow or actually later today since I'm filming this Friday night and into Saturday. All right so now I've got some more vintagey type stuff which is what I know you all love to see but you know I like to show other things too and I'm slowly but surely trying to do that more because it adds to the haul. So this is awesome. This is a ceramic Christmas tree. It's got the little base. It's a tiny one. It's missing a couple of the beads, and I'm not sure if I can find these on eBay. I'm pretty sure I can. Only a few are missing, but I would love to get uh, those situated because I love this. This was 50% off. This is just a Nestle's restaurant wear piece. I'm not sure how old it is, but I thought that was cool, and it was a reasonable price. This is interesting. This is a uh, Russian perfume. I don't remember how old it is, but um, I didn't see that one specifically when I was uh, researching it on eBay. So that might do okay. I've never heard of Tantalizing Tea Air. It's made in Hawaii. I don't know um, how old it is, but it's got a barcode on the box, so it can't be terribly old. But I decided to risk it because it was 50% off. Uh, it was $1.50. So originally three and then $1.50 for that. So sometimes when something is just that inexpensive, take a risk. I also got this really awesome Singer sewing machine oil tin. But that side it actually displays better than the other one. Other side. But that was cool. Um, I'm not sure how old that is, but I love it. I love that it could be used in a Christmas display because of the red, white, and green. This was in that same booth that I got the uh, Christmas ornament hangers from. It's just an Avon School Days ruler comb. I thought that was very unique and fun, and I mean, it's not worth a ton of money, but I, I loved it. Somebody might buy that at a live sale. Who knows, if you love 70s or you just love 
Avon stuff. I mean, why not? I mean, it was a reasonable price and I can probably pass it on for a reasonable price too. So this is cool. These are two uh, tins. These were both in the same booth as the perfume. Sorry, I had a hair on my uh, screen. This is Hub Brand Typewriter Ribbon. Blue and white and silver, that is just awesome. I had to pick this up, but I'm not sure that anybody would be interested in it, but it's Sav oh no, I was about to say Savoy's. Savory's Baby's Bottom, a mild medium mixture of, to oh no. A mild mixture, medium tobacco. Tobacco in something you put on a baby's bottom? Okay. And that was half off also. So like I said, that was just interesting. That's why I went ahead and picked that up. Alrighty, moving along. I did find this really awesome mid-century, well, I don't know if it's mid-century, stocking. It's got the name Brian on it. Santa coming out of the chimney. I thought that was really cool. I also got a couple planters. This one's a donkey or a pack mule. Almost looks like a Scotty dog from the side, depending on how you look at it. I loved this zebra. And my mom was uh, looking at all the stuff that I bought. And she's like, I think I want to keep this downstairs because she likes it just as much as I did. And that was 50% off. Same with the donkey. Paid a little bit more for him, but he was so different. I've never seen a zebra planter before. This came from that same booth. Uh, this is in Emile Henry Creamer, uh, French. Never seen that before, and that was a really good price. Again, I did look it up before I purchased it. I'm thinking maybe $25, $30 for that. I could be wrong. I also picked up the Collector's Encyclopedia of Stangle Pottery. Uh, that came out of a booth that was 70% off. So I had to pick that up because I know you all like your identification books. Some of them I keep for me and some of them I pass along to you all. And then I even got this really nice little wooden box. Opens up, it would be a great little storage piece for like greeting cards or anything really. And it was 50% off got a few places where it needs to be touched up, but that's still a really nice piece nonetheless. A few more fun items. These are some old paper dolls. I do believe that they are authentic, not reproductions. Should probably take them out of the packaging so you guys can see them better because they're just in a sleeve here. But those were 50% off. And then I also found these. These are Tupperware toys from the 70s. I'm not sure if they were... All right, so moving right along. These are Tupperware toys. I'm not really sure what they were originally for, if they were to stack on top of each other. It doesn't appear that way. Uh, they were really inexpensive, so I just decided to take them and see what they were. It looks like it's supposed to be a train of some sort because you hook it here, yeah. So maybe it's just parts. I don't know if anybody would want them just because they it may not be complete. And again, I'm not sure if anything is supposed to um, go on top of here. I don't think so. But it also came with this piece right here and it doesn't fit. But anywho, they were interesting and I decided to take them and they were only two bucks. So if somebody wanted them just for memory purposes, that's perfectly okay. Or they have other pieces and they're just missing these. Who knows? You just never know. <laughs> and then I found these pieces. These are old paper dolls, definitely from the turn of the century. Take this off of here. As you can see, the gentleman, the dapper gentleman, is unfortunately ripped. But I can tape that, no problem. And then this is one of his coats. I just thought those would be good for the ephemera book. Because you all know I have a nice one going. I probably should share that with you all along with my junk jars. Y'all have been asking for a while and I keep forgetting to film a video. Um, I'm more than likely, I don't know what I'm going to do just yet, but I thought you all might like to see those. I can probably tape that, no problem. So I did pick up some pieces of ephemera because they were priced really well and they were even on sale. 
So this is awesome. This is a Grand Union Supermarket um, needle book. Here is... Oops, I can do this one-handed. Nope, apparently not. <laughs> Here we go. Just holds needles, uh, kind of like a giveaway for the store. But I loved the graphics of that. That is just amazing. I even found one for Esso, for the Esso oil, which is funny to think that they actually gave stuff like this away back then. So here's the inside of that. Some of the needles are missing, but these are just going to go right into my ephemera booklet. I think these are absolutely great. And then I did pick up a couple greeting cards. They were a really good deal and then 25% off. This is a cuckoo clock. It says, it's an old time wish, I must admit. And then you open up the booklet. And it looks like the bird is flying out of the cuckoo clock. But I'm so cuckoo about springing it. Merry Christmas, hope it's a birdie. And then this one down here is like a panoramic. It's a New Year's, oh no, it's Christmas and Happy New Year with snowmen. I am a sucker for snowmen, I love them. And this one was awesome. And then I even found this little notepad. Boz Premium Plant Food and Soil Builder. Green, red, and white. Oldest brand in America, Boggs. Boz. Thought that would be good in a Christmas display. I might be a little late on that, but I'm sure somebody would still like it nonetheless. Alrighty, so now we're moving into some of my favorite pickups from this trip to the Hancock Antique Mall. Now, granted, I like everything that I bought, but sometimes you just find a couple pieces that you're just like, I can't believe I'm holding them in my hands right now. And the first piece is this really awesome catalog for the Charles S. Burns Associates. And we will go ahead and look through that after I share the next group of items. This is from 1949. The tag was right. There are definitely some really cool graphics in here, and that was 50% off. These are absolutely amazing. These are um, product labels from the 1930s. You can definitely tell just by the graphics on them. So we've got perfume, nail polish remover, hair treating oil, and toilet water. So we've got this hair treating oil one right here. Again, this is from, oh, this one doesn't have a year on it. We've got Sweet Georgia Brown nail polish remover, High Life perfume, Thrill Me Again, Beautify Your Hair, Madam Jones's Hair Treating Oil, that's dated 1938, Lucky Mojo Jockey Club Toilet Water from 1936, and then my favorite, which is extremely deco, Sweet Georgia Brown's Skin Perfume from 1936. How amazing is that? And I got those for $4. So those are definitely going to go in my ephemera book. I cannot wait to have those in there. All right. So Charles Burns Associates. So it looks like the first thing he's offering are some floor and bridge torsier lamps. Look at these clocks, you guys. How stinking cool. So I guess it was kind of like a stamps kind of a thing where you saved up a bunch and then a catalog was sent out and then you could turn in your stamps for these items. So extremely cool. Sandwich grills and waffle irons, toaster ovens, carafes, irons, miramatics, pots and pans, heating pads, mixers, radios, and bedding, and lamps, and the whole nine yards. I mean, this book is just absolutely cool, and I'm happy to have it in my possession. Alrighty, so we are down to the last three items for this video, and these items are pretty darn cool. So this is awesome. Uh, if you guys don't know, I do collect the old metal lunch boxes. I'm not crazy about the ones from the 80s. Some from the 70s are all right. Um, this one is the Zorro lunchbox from 1958. It was a Disney show. 
Annette Funicello actually starred in it as a teenager because she had a crush on Guy Williams. Not because she had a crush on Guy Williams. Disney offered her a part. And yeah, so that's really cool. Uh, that was originally $65. Would I have paid that? Probably not. Uh, it was 70% off, so I only spent $19.50. So this is the front of the mag, front of the magazine, front of the lunchbox. Here's the back. A little bit rusty, but you know what? 65 years old and it being in this shape, I'd say that's pretty awesome. And then I also found this really killer cool blue speckled hall pitcher. Not a pitcher, I'm sorry, a basket. It is marked Hall USA on the bottom. Now this was a little bit up there in price. Uh, it was originally $36, so I got it for $18. I did look it up to see what they were going for. One did sell for $7.50, but the shipping price was high. So I went ahead and picked it up, knowing that I'm going to be selling some of the items in here and pretty much hopefully making my money back and profiting. So I decided to splurge a little bit and buy this for myself because I do love it. I love the color and it's just amazing and I didn't have to pay shipping on it. So I still think 18 was pretty fair for that. And considering, like I said, what I bought to sell, it should I should definitely do pretty well and at least pay down what I've kept for myself. So those were two of the three of my last items. I hope you all like this next item because I certainly do. This is awesome, you guys. This is a 1939 New York World's Fair scrapbook. There are no contents, as this is just a unused piece, but I loved the images and the graphics of the cover. I just thought this was awesome. I did pay $20. It was originally $40, and then the uh, booth was half off. But I've never, ever seen one of these before. And I um, was showing my mom all the stuff that I got, and um, I showed this to her last, and she absolutely loves this piece. She said if she would, she would be framing this and putting it up in the house, because she loves the World's Fair stuff, and she loves the graphics, she loves the font of the letters, she just loves it, I love it. So this, I may actually wind up finding a frame for this because I think it is just so fantastic. And it's not something you see every day, at least not me. I mean, maybe some of you all have seen them before, but I certainly haven't. So I am thrilled to be able to own this. And folks, that is everything that I would like to share with you all from my trip to the Hancock Antique Mall. Let me know down below in the comments section what were your favorite items. Were there some things you would have picked up, some things you wouldn't have picked up? Let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching.